So click Dreamweaver and then new PHP document. We don't really need all that. Um, so we're just going to start off by our opening PHP tag here. All right, and then hit enter. And then we're going to write a variable, so money sign, uh, XML data is what we're going to call this. And then space equals space. And then we're going to have quotes. And then it's going to be HTTP colon slash slash. And that's pretty much just what we just had there. Actually, let's put that. And it's not quotes, it's uh, the apostrophe for PHP. Um, so then we're going to hit a semicolon to close that off. And then our next line is going to actually open this data. So we're going to, let's just call the variable open, space equals space, and then F open. And then open parenthesis, and then we're going to open this data. So let's just grab that, copy that, put that in there. And then we're going to comma, uh, apostrophe R, apostrophe and then close, and then semicolon. So now the next uh, variable we're gonna do is content. Let's call it that. Um, content, and then that's gonna actually take uh, the contents that we get from um, this and open it. Or it's gonna take the open and it's it's gonna get the, the stream content here. Um, so content space equals space, then stream, S-T-R-E-A-M. Uh, underscore get underscore contents and then we're gonna have it from this open variable okay close parenthesis semicolon and then we're going to close this close the open variable because we don't want that to be open anymore and then when you sign open that variable is closed semicolon and then lastly we're going to echo the content. All right, and then we need a closing PHP tag, which is just question mark, and then a closing bracket. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, we need to take this file, and we're going to save it as, let's just save it on the desktop. Let's call it Twitter PHP file. I don't, doesn't really matter, we just need to, I'm just gonna copy that. And we're just gonna save it on my desktop and I can upload that to the server. Now what we need to do is take and grab um, this. We're going to put it on my website, my web server. So we're gonna have, pretty much just take this out because we don't really need that anymore. Because <clears throat> we're gonna be taking it, Ooh, what happened? I uh, shouldn't erase that. HTTP colon slash slash www.rivercitygraphics.com and then we're going to put it in the scripts folder. And then inside that, um, what do we call it? I got it copied. Um, Twitterphp file.php. And I just want to make sure I save that as a. <clears throat> Oh yeah, it says it saves it as a PHP file. Um, so we should be good to go. I am going to uh, save this as, let's just call it, um, uh, let's just put it on the desktop. And um, we're just going to call it Twitter API flash, I don't know, something. Um, and I'm going to upload those and then I will be back to show you what it turned out as. Um, well, you can see that it is working, um, but that uh, I did not write that on my Twitter account. Um, so I saw that I had a problem um, back in the PHP file uh, that I had updated. Um, I should have made this uh, versity, versity graphics um, instead because I forgot to change that, and that would affect it. Um, so when I change that, it is going to, here, let's actually go in and refresh that and we're going to go to the scripts on oh, I don't even know I have PSDs on there um, we're going to go to the scripts and t Twitter PHP file and we're going to overwrite that yes alright so now what we're going to do is make sure that this is working 
All right, there we go. As you can see, it's showing up. It's getting it from the PHP file and putting it in Flash. This is a Flash document, um, and it's rendering it out nicely. Um, so, also, I uh, I forgot earlier to show you. If you want to take and uh, make this so you can put it on the web, you're going to need an SWF. You can just go to File and then Publish, and it'll make the SWF for you. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.